One of the features of the current election campaign has been the significant numbers of high-level women MPs who have uh, decided to stand down from Parliament and given as at least part of their reason for their decision the, the toxic atmosphere in politics but also the kind of the ways in which they are subjected to high levels of abuse on social media, um, uh, sort of uh, attacks in the street, um, the, the kind of the sense of the, the security measures that they increasingly have to adopt in order to protect their personal safety. It's not exclusive to women, men get death threats as well, though they don't get the rape threats and it does seem, uh, it does seem pretty clear that there's a very high level of focus and targeting of women, not just in Parliament, but women, uh, women and girls more generally in public life. One thinks of the vitriol poured on, poured on Greta Thunberg or um, Caroline Criado Perez uh, campaigning for uh, a woman to be on the banknotes. Uh, you know, Jane Austen on a banknote is not exactly threatening the whole foundations of patriarchy, but she was uh, subjected to death threats and, and rape threats. So we're clearly in a in a period in which the nature of political debate and political argument has reached a high level of polarization and anger, not always helped by some of the language that our politicians use. But this is, is coinciding with what seems to be a, a very uh, serious targeting of women in public life with um, levels of abuse on social media, but also in the street and, of course, um, the case of the, the murder of Joe Cox, so that we have examples of people of MPs actually being killed. We don't yet know what kind of impact this might have in terms of um, women deciding not to put themselves forward as candidates for Parliament to such an extent. My, my own uh, anticipation is that it won't make a big difference, um, but it does seem quite likely that we'll find that women MPs under this kind of pressure will spend perhaps less time as MPs than the men do. This is certainly the phenomenon at the moment that the women who are standing down are standing down um, after a shorter period of time in Parliament than the men who are currently retiring from politics. Um, so that there's, there's less of a sense of women being able to arrive at levels of seniority and the kind of influence that often goes with that um, if, they're being, if they're kind of resigning themselves to politics is just something you can manage for about 10 years of your life and then you have to move on to something else. So I don't think it's going to significantly reduce the number of women who will come forward as candidates as MPs, but I do think that the, uh, the, the generally toxic atmosphere of politics combined with the targeting of women in public life on social media um, is creating a very, very dangerous situation in terms of uh, political life for women MPs.